I'm doing well. How are you doing? Right. Dean. Where are you? We're here. You've been on the show since around the East Coast. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. Yeah, and so now you're a real staple of, you know, behind the camera. Right. Last night was... Rowena? Did you like it? Tell me about okay. the and how Why is six what, afraid of saying what the yeah. Well, Steve Yarkey wrote the script, and the, you know, when I read the script, I'm like, this this has its own unique flavor here. You obviously have a unique pairings in Dean and Jack and Sam and Charlie. That's something we don't see a lot or at all. You don't, you don't have the boys overlapping each other, so they have their own unique. I thought, listen, I, I, I know people love seeing the boys together, and I love yeah. having the boys together, but it, it's also, you know, they're individuals, and it's fun to watch them do their own thing with unique individuals who the, the fans know and love. So to have Jack pair with Dean is a whole different dynamic. And to have Charlie and Sam together in the car for so long was, you know, generated really fascinating moments between the two of them. I thought it was really fun and fresh and interesting for the storytelling elements of the show. And I, I loved it, and I think, you know, it lent itself to... I, I called it like the rom-com uh, episode. There's a certain amount of that Jack Harper it's, it's, Dean storyline that just felt, the writers because they you know, like Heather's in its tone. Felt like it had a humorous sort of uh, flavor to it, which I loved and leaned into. And everybody was on board. You know, that's how Steve. I feel like that's the arrow Steve pointed with the script, and that's where I went because I love that tone and that style and that approach. And it worked on set. And it seemed to work in the cut. I mean, there's some scenes, but also make it come full circle. And for Sam specifically, I know I can't get any specifics because all of my bosses are here, literally. Well, I think one of the things that stays the same is the consistent excellence of Jared and Jensen as performers and as uh, characters in Sam and Dean. You know, they, those characters have evolved beautifully. And, uh, please tell me you've washed your hand recently. Ah. I did. No, I did. I washed my hands three days ago. It's been days. Because, because Mason, had, Mason has a terrible fever. Okay, so right. I was like, I have to wash my hands. I remember distinctly. It was I, Wednesday. Like, no, Tuesday. I washed my hands. Right. And I was like... Before or after the diarrhea episode? Well, no, then okay, I wiped her thoroughly. But I wiped her thoroughly. So With your bare hands. Yes. Um, oh, sorry. Jesus. I'm going to go uh, take a bath in the sanitizer. And, uh, I like your haircut. I got a big haircut, yeah. You look like an adult. I look like, I, do I look okay, hireable? Yeah, <laughs> well, no, but you do look like a grown-up. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Thank Will you, appreciate that. Will we see you behind the Hi. camera in the back half? Will you see me where? Will we see you directing in the back half of the season? Uh, I'm not slated to. I've done well, my two episodes for the year, so exactly as of now, you know, I get two a year. My one, my episodes were five, we one, episodes, or episode two, episode six. So, so far, that's all it means. And we were joking. I have no idea what he interrupted. I'm probably so so He interrupted with his finger in my nose and mouth. So, for a lot of fans, they think, this is great. Wow, I wish and Misha would put his fingers in my nose and mouth. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, you don't. You don't want that. You don't want that. It's not pretty. Have a great night. You do the same.